everybody. I'm so excited because Halloween is right around the corner and we get to paint this cute Halloween pumpkin today. So stay tuned. So as you can see, I've started out with a black rock, which I do in a lot of my videos. And I've already sketched out my design, but I'm going ahead and going over that with a General's Charcoal white pencil so that you can see the design. The nice thing about charcoal is that you can just wash it off with water. You don't have to worry about painting over it. And if you want to copy my design, I would just pause the video because I know this goes kind of fast. I would just pause the video and copy it. Now I started having some problems with my video freezing up. My camera froze up and I was not aware of that. So I'm missing a portion of this video. So I painted in the pumpkin and then I did a darker uh, orange for the lines. And then I'm outlining the whole design in copper metallic. And I use a mixture of um, Li Liquitex Basics, which is a student grade acrylic paint. Um, so it's an inexpensive paint, but it's still very high quality as far as the light fastness. And I know I'm kind of covering up some of the painting here. I do apologize for that. Using uh, Liquitex Basics or a artist grade acrylic paint, they have a light fast rating on them, which means that the paint will not fade as fast over time, depending on what the light fast rating is. With craft paint, you don't, they don't do a light fastness test, which means you're not guaranteed that that paint is going to last. And I've used cheap paints before on a canvas painting. And in less than a year, the like the purple turned white. So if you want, now these are rocks and I, I don't, I still want my designs to last, but I guess technically it's really not that crucial. But it is something to consider when picking out the type of paint you're going to use. Craft paints are not going to last as long. Even if you uh, clear coat them with a good uh, sealer or UV sealer, they're still going to fade over time. What that time frame is, it really just depends. So I'm taking purple this whole thing is done it's purple and orange i know sometimes it looks blue my camera really kind of sucks for getting the proper color purple's a tough one for cameras to pick up especially my my camera setup and what i do is i i put paint down and then i dab it with my finger and that's how i get kind of some of the blending um, i have a couple of different techniques i use for blending and my head is in the way again. I almost forgot to put the nose in. And now I'm using kind of watered down black to add in a shadow underneath the hat and underneath his, I guess underneath his head. Now I'm just kind of cleaning up my, my lines with some black. Adding in more shadows around the face. And to get the blend, I just keep lightening the color and then kind of, it, 
it's very dry that I don't have a lot of paint on my brush and it's kind of a dry mixture sometimes I do wet and sometimes I do really dry here I'm doing a dry mixture and I'm it's kind of like buffing it on to the rock then I use my finger to dab at it to help create the blend because the my finger will pull off some of that paint but I start out dark and I work my way up lighter to the edge that I want to be the lightest something I've done for years um, I think now that it's easy but I've been doing it for so long that it's kind of hard for me to even explain exactly what I, I may need to do a video where I just show how I do my blending and sh you know my shading now I'm just going around the eye and now I'm going to do something I do in a lot of my rocks which is going to add a glow behind him this is kind of my little signature look on a lot of rocks and you'll see this is another one where it's kind of a dry brush and I start darker and of course I want right next to his body or his hat and face I want to be the lightest so I just keep working it up and you're this is sped up but you do want to let the paint dry between layers and you're gonna see I'm just gonna build it up to where the brightest part is right next to his face and hat And I'm trying to achieve the look that it's glowing behind him. And then I thought I would make it where his eyes and mouth look like they were glowing. But I decided I didn't like this as much. So I ended up, I'm going to end up painting it all black, back in black. And now I'm just going over it with a thin coat of orange to brighten up his face. I'm kind of outlining around in certain areas where the uh, outside of the copper. Then I'll put a line down and then I'll take that little blender brush that is just slightly, slightly damp and that'll help blend out that black in those areas. I'm still just working on the eyes. Problem is the copper blends in with the orange so much that I'm trying to get the eyes to stand out better. I will end up putting kind of a pupil in there which helped a lot. Now I'm going back with the yellow and this is just straight like a like a lemon yellow that I'm using I don't know what color it is what does it say lemon yellow that's exactly what it is so first I go in and use my paintbrush I will go in with a dotting tool because uh, now he looks kind of cross-eyed And that looked better the dotting tool worked better and now I'm just cleaning up some of my lines and we're about done and that's it I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one